Here we are. Hyundai dealer. Got a $50 gift card certificate, so we're gonna do that. Larry H. Miller. We got Austin over here. He has two of those gift certificates, so we're gonna have some fun. Emerson's here. Say hi, Emerson. Hello. So this is the um, really awesome blue Tucson. Thinking about this for Jem. It's a little bit, basically the same size as her current vehicle, which is a Ford Escape. Has a lot nicer interior. It feels a lot more open. Um, it's a 2.0, let's see, 2.0 liter. Let's open the back. Oh, cool. So it has a little bar thing and, you know, lots of nice seats. So, we're test driving some vehicles. It's going to be kind of fun. Hopefully they can move that one there and it's in the way. Sun's almost gone. Been here for over an hour and they're still processing. I don't understand why they're so inefficient and slow here. I mean been over an hour and we still don't have keys to drive a vehicle we wanted to test drive and our first sentence is we like to test drive one of these makes no sense Ooh, Kona we're gonna drive this one here now <laughs> so what do you think Austin oh yeah put the seats up gotta check out the room in this okay. yeah yeah he put the seats down earlier Ashley what do you think about the room <laughs> oh, I didn't put the no we put the seats down Oh, another one. Emerson, you can sit in the front, sit in the back seat. You can be in the middle. All right, we're gonna put five people into a Kona. This Kona will be a passenger side heavy. <laughs> it's a push button. Push button. Your blind spots. This one has a lot more features. I like this one. It has a push to start, which is really cool. You had to push the brake down and push the button. Yeah, well, that would have been nice. Come with a lot of equipment. Yeah, you had to push the brake or it won't start. Hi, right, Emerson. So maybe mommy would like this one better. Maybe we'll just keep the keys out for when she comes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like so far from the pedals. Go forward. I'm trying. <laughs> Phone projection. You can mirror your phone on this. Oh, yeah, mine does that too. I just never tried it. That's awesome. Do you have an iPhone or an Android? Android. We all have Android. Android. Okay, I gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> Android's I, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm anyway. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> so do I just drive off of here? I don't. Yeah, just straight forward. Because I have an iPhone cord. If you want to see what it kind of looks like, like the projection. I You're awesome. Sorry. Grab that. It only works with iPhone though. So anywhere? Oh, oh that's, that's my iPhone. But oh, like, you can use your iPhone. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, well, you can see. If I had an Android car, I would have just plugged one of those in. So you can just kind of do the same course I did. Unless you want to go on heavy traffic streets. Let's I walk. did hit my head. It is oh, a little bit. Not, so not a lot of headroom here. <laughs> yeah. Like literally a quarter inch. Is the temp okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, telling I'm me to, squishing down. So I don't know. It's telling me that I need to buckle up. telling you you need to buckle up. Where is it telling you that? Right there. Oh. Put your seatbelt on. Uh, there. There's not a lot of fat people in Korea. Apparently not. Nope. <laughs> and we'll hit OK on the screen. Awesome. And then hit uh, home protection. Press the home button. Top left hand side. Or that one too. Hit Apple CarPlay. Now on iPhone it projects like the icons like an iPhone would. Right. On an Android, it's a little bit of a different interface, but it's still pretty similar. But you can do maps, you can do ways, Google Maps. So wait, where do we go? Wherever you want. Wherever you want. Really? We can go to Flagstaff if you want. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't want to go there. You go to Flagstaff? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll uh, be like the Volks the Volks You pay for the gas though, right? <laughs> um no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a chunk. Freeway driving the Ionic. Naughty people. Look the cash cab. <laughs> hey, cash cab. the cash cab. This is a good show. Questions. All right, half mile till we get off. You can probably get the. That's a weird smell though. That's that new plastic. It smells like a Nerf football. Yeah, I know. I'm squishing you, Everson. I'm sorry, man. Must be Austin's 
driving. Leave a little. Leave a little. That's pretty fun. This is a nice vehicle. This is a lot sportier than I expected it to be. Right? What do you think, Austin? A lot more sporty? Yeah. Oh, and I can like drag the brakes to charge it. Yes. Yeah, it's charging quite quickly when you drag the brakes. Yes, yeah, so it's got regenerative braking. So typically we, on a hybrid, you want to go ahead and, and brake slowly and steadily and not like pretty abruptly. Yeah, because yeah, it sends it back. That so way if you, turn, you use the electric motors to brake. If you turn right back. here, we can go for the neighborhood on the way back. Yeah. You want to do that? Go right, and then or we're going to take the freeway down. back. Your choice. I don't know. The freeway is quite fun. But Ooh, you want to do that if you want, then too. I mean, we still have time. We still have time. We still have time, and we no, are we choosing to go right still. Genesis G70. So we have um, a sunroof here. You can open the sunroof if you want. How? There's a button above here, above the rearview mirror. That's so cool. Yeah, right here. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh. And then this is the uh, G70, what is it, 3.3 liter engine? 3.3 liter V6 twin turbo. Oh, so No, we like it. It's called Speed. 365 horse, 375 pound feet of torque at 1400 RPM. Dang. So We're being washed pretty above torquey, the sky. Pretty that's quickly. Like, yeah, that's like not a minute much RPM at all. Yeah. So, get ready, guys. <laughs> all right. So we test drove all four of those vehicles, and <clears throat> now I'm back in my Santa Fe, and in reality, I think the Santa Fe is the best. I like the Santa Fe better than, um, better than the Kona. The Kona sucked. <clears throat> the Ionic was nice for a hybrid, um, but, you know, I still like the Santa Fe better, and, <clears throat> you know, beyond all that, the um, the really big Genesis was super awesome, had lots of bells and whistles, but it's not big enough for my family or any cargo. So, you know, the best of all worlds is definitely the Santa Fe. So I'm glad I have what I have. We don't really need the Tucson in exchange for the Escape. That would be a cool little upgrade, but. Well, we just hit 10,000 miles on the Santa Fe. And I still like the Santa Fe better than all the other vehicles. It's really nice to be content. You know, you, when you go to a place to shop, the whole point is they're supposed to show you how uncontent you are with your current vehicle. But at the end of the day, I'm actually more content. That's good. Well, 10,000 miles is fine. Up to, we'll probably do another 80 before we sell the car. Awesome. Anyway, that's about it. So that's the video blog three. We'll post this tonight, hopefully after I snip all the clips together. Have an awesome day and a great weekend. Bye.